Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter and make the dance sport, country and skate dress of your dreams. I'm filming on location today at the Arthur Murray Phoenix. Now Danica is a fairly new teacher and as most of us new teachers know, we are almost always on a very tight budget. So this was an online purchase that you said was $300? Uh, right about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to talk about this as far as literally just like it is. What do you do when you're on a budget? I'm going to walk you through what works on this dress on her body, what doesn't work on this dress. It really accentuates your womanly curves and, and suits her personality. So, and really that's the key. If you're going to wear a turtleneck, you're mm -hmm. often not going to feel comfortable having so much cleavage show. So what suits your personality and that's so key for us as we are finding dresses that we like is yeah do what you feel good in all right as far as a budget dress goes there's um quite a few good qualities going on on this and quite a few things that we would that Danica and I have already talked about that she would not want to duplicate if she were having this dress custom made if we start from the beginning, at a glance, clearly this is a very sexy, mature dress. I would not necessarily want to wear this if I were doing pro-am, if I were dancing with students. I would keep this for a pro partner. Have you worn the dress yet? I have. I have done um, one pro um, routine piece, um, and then I have, or I'm working right now on a smooth, Pro um, competition set. Okay. All right. So, so yeah. Yes. So this would this would be great then for your beginning this will be pro what I'm entry level in the next month to compete in Smith. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Perfect. The the plunging neckline. While she does have a lot of natural cleavage, she's very well in there. Whenever the the dress was made, it's actually there. Actually, the bra part of the bra is sewn in there, so there are underwire cups in there. While that would not be necessary for me because I'm so small breasted because she's larger breasted, that comes in really handy. So essentially they built this dress around a bra, which brings me to something that I don't like. So we're gonna flip flop. Yep, she doesn't like it either. So if I get this out of the way, this bra strap is really unappealing. Now Danica has beautiful skin and having this strap let me have you hold your arms out. So we have three horizontal lines back here. Two would be okay, a third one is not great. So this is just part of the dress. I'm not a fan of this being white. I would much rather have this edging be black. It would be a more continuous line. This white, I don't necessarily mind just because it hits right at the waist. So it sort of looks like a belt. The bra strap Danica says is very uncomfortable. It just, it obviously digs in because a lot of us are real fleshy in this armpit area and that's the problem with these back bras unless you are very very lean they almost always create this gush so one of the alternatives that you can do to get and you can even do this yourself before your competition is get rid of this horizontal line across the back and put in crisscross straps because this dress already has crisscross straps on the sides so why not take this nice little bit of detailing and add it on the back? So instead of having this horizontal strap, take a white strap and literally run it from here, crisscross it up and over to the front. So she would have a crisscross back here, which would have to be in white because it connects to the bra. But then this horizontal strap could go away and you would be so much more comfortable. <laughs> And it would be really pretty easy for you to do yourself or to find a local seamstress. But yeah, you could, I'm going to unhook that. So just look how much better this looks now that she's got, let me have you turn around. Now that there's just open skin here, I mean, it's, it's automatically makes this space breathe more. And then if, even if there was a white strap that came right here, it would still be fine because all of this would be open and it's not just so congested looking. The other thing that often happens whenever you buy an off the rack dress or offline or anything is that the stride on this dress is a little bit too long. And how you can tell 
is that it's a little poochy right here, so it wants to ride up some. Now, whenever I reach down in here and pull this down, it lays nice and smooth. And so really what just needs to happen is the stride of the leotard just needs to be tightened up several inches. My guess is probably at least one to two inches or two and a half to five centimeters. And that would help because she's got a great tush. So that would help keep this tucked over her tush better because it would be more snug between her legs. Okay, let's keep going here. This opening is really very open. Um, once again, it would be suitable for a pro-pro routine. Not great, in my mind anyway, for a pro-am routine because it's just a little too sexy. However, if you bought a bargain dress that was very open like this and you did not have beautiful skin like Danica or just don't want to expose so much flesh, you could come in with flesh colored mesh and put it underneath the straps, just have a big chunk of fabric underneath that. Or you could come in with black mesh, white mesh, or you could even take some little lace appliques like this and cover this whole area with lace appliques. So you have a few options to camouflage that if you purchased the dress and didn't want quite that much skin showing. Alrighty, we have sort of a classic pointed skirt, single layer of chiffon as we call it in the States, Georgette overseas. So it's really light and billowy. On this side is sort of a silver piece. I personally don't see the point in having this. I find this particular aspect a little distracting. It's not necessarily horrible, it's just my design taste, but the reason there are so many designers out there is because there is no one right way. <laughs> we all have different tastes. It's just for me, that doesn't work on you. If I were wearing it, this would probably be a good aspect because it would give some nice visual height but because you're already tall, you don't actually need that going on. So that's really the only reason that I don't particularly like it on here. I just think it's, it's not quite as sleek and streamlined. One of the aspects I like about the front a lot, I like how this closes pretty tight. I like this V shape and then this little bit of swoop. I, I like that shape on you a lot. And if you buy, whenever you buy a bargain dress, as money or time allows, let's say you end up keeping this dress for a while, she can always come back in and add more rhinestones because there's just a handful. Actually, there aren't even really any. There's a couple of jewels. So she could come back in, add more lace, add jewels as rhinestones as the budget allows, or she could just sell it for 50 bucks and call it good and you know she would have gotten her money's worth out of it. Is this dress comfortable to dance in when you wore it? It is. Um, this back strap, yes. Um, I just feel like at my bust size, the back, the strap around the back is usually a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. um, and so it doesn't, like you're saying, um, that line. And when I take it off, I always seem to have that nice red line there anyway. Yeah, because it's snug. Um, it's pretty <laughs> snug, yes. It's got to keep the girls in check. So it's got to be pretty fitting. Um, but otherwise, it's really comfortable. I do really like this dress um, as far as how it fits. Uh, for me, I really like the openness mm -hmm. of it. I like the, the hippiness and all of that stuff um, mm. with the opens on the sides. But it is very comfortable other than this. Yeah, well, and you have beautiful skin, so it's like, why not show it off? And given that it was an online purchase, it's actually a pretty good length. Yeah, you got lucky there. You're how tall? I'm 5'6". Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of times with a, someone 5'6", you'd think the skirt would be too short, mm -hmm. and it's, it's really perfectly fine. So, <laughs> nice yes. on that. The last thing I want to share about this dress is that if you get tired of wearing this as a ball gown, cut it off and turn it into a Latin dress or a rhythm dress. Ooh. You just cut off the skirt. You've got these built-in points here. You could sew fringe on the bottom up on all the points. You could put tasseled fringe here on the points. What's funny about that actually is that I was starting to end the video and then I went, wait. <laughs> There's more, <laughs> but wait, there's more. So yes, you could absolutely just take these 
sheer panels off and turn mm -hmm. it into a latin dress later on hmm. and then your three hundred dollars is doubled because then you could wear and then make some bracelets to go with mm -hmm. it for your latin dress and you'd be good to go hmm. all right on that note we really are going because it's very late here thank you so much danik for, for, for filming this after your arthur award show and thanks again to arthur murray phoenix arizona for letting us, um, letting me come. I had a great time this evening Good, and then for you. hanging out here and taking over the floor afterwards. All right, so thank you for being here tonight. Please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. And if you have not already done so, go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address and I'll make sure you always receive these blogs and any other specials that I have. Lastly, leave me a comment. What's been your favorite bargain dress that you had? And that's it. Thank you so much, Danica, for joining me tonight. Thank you. And I will talk to you again another time.